I just got engaged and I heard you had a 75 Golden State Warriors ring and I was thinking that would be perfect for my fiance. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I do have a Golden State Warriors ring from 75. Rocco, will you grab me that ring? Sure. That is a brave man that would give his fiance a championship ring. She must have really big hands. <laughs> there it is, in all of its glory. Wow. She's gonna love this. <laughs> a friend of mine was in town and they saw it and they, they thought that that was actually one of his more reasonably priced rings. I'm looking to spend between $5,500 and $7,500 on this ring, but you know, we'll, we'll have to see what happens. This is uh, it's an impressive ring. I love the underdog. Yeah, no one ever expected him to win that year. Most people didn't even expect him to go to the playoffs. So what I did was I brought pictures of another 75 Golden State Warriors ring. OK. And as far as uh, the pictures are concerned, they I mean, they, they match up. Yeah. It's perfect. Have you tested the diamond? Oh, yeah, it's a real diamond. It's a real diamond, OK. What I wanted to do, just for my own sanity, to test the diamond. Sure, go right ahead. OK, thank you. Well, I'm a collector, but I'm also a broker of some of the world's finest and most expensive sports memorabilia. It's not testing. Uh, that's because you have a really cheap tester. Because. So the problem was you had the diamond tester sitting on it. Right. OK. It's not going to test right because the diamond's too hot right now. Do you, do you, have, do you have one of your, your yeah, own? Yeah, I, uh, I have my own stuff over there. Yeah. I mean, if. Uh, I'll go grab it. They always say the customer is always right, but I know this diamond is real. And the fact that this guy brought in his own cheap little tester, I'm going to be nice. Works fine on mine. OK. I will uh, trust that. OK. But, yeah. uh, no, no, it's, it's all legit. I stand, okay. beside, stand behind everything I got. OK. So. Yeah, that's that's fine. I guess what it comes down to is is price. For 11.5, it can be yours. Well, that's that's your asking price. Is there uh, you know, any wiggle room? I go 11 grand. That's, that's it? That's it. OK. I'm looking at like $5,500. There's no way. You know, I, I paid more than that. OK. You know what? Any, any? Uh, 11 grand, that's 11, what I can do. That's your bottom line? Yeah. Okay. Best price. Fair enough. I mean, I'm disappointed, but it's, you know, you're, it's your property. You own it, and uh, you got to do what's in your best interest. All right. So. All right, no problem, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming in. I didn't think he was going to go 5,500, but I thought, you know, he'd work with me a little bit. But he seemed like he wanted to punch me in the face. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.